No. The videos earlier on there, the camera was turned the other way around, so I don't know whether this will be better or worse or what, but sure, we'll, we'll see when this up anyways. So now when we were on about this yoke earlier on, we were saying that there's very little trouble. And we have had very little trouble, but the trouble we did have was these two bolts here. And there's two bolts at the other side. No. Self-inflicted. Didn't keep an eye on them. Check where they're tight. And what became of that was this roller fell in under her. You can see there's a couple of marks in it, but there's the worst mark. The roller went in under her and she hit the roller. I don't know if you'll be able to see the flails there now, yeah, but she all the flails hit the roller, but there's no damage to the rotor or two flails, but obviously the roller <coughs> took the force of it. Now most of the time you'd be going forward. Very rarely we're going backwards, but it just so happened that when the bolts came out, we were going backwards. So that's all. That's, that's all. I don't think you class that as a big thing, really. But you see, you can put it around the front. That's why you have another headstock, and the PTO shaft can go on there. But we never run it that way. Uh, let's just basically look around her. Like you say, everything is fairly heavy juicy on it. We've yet to break it anyway. And that brings us on to these yokes. The famous EVXs. Now, I like them, personally. I know some people don't like them. But there's a lot of features in these tractors that uh, weren't in tractors at the time or are still just coming into tractors now. So, I'll give a basic run through her. Now, what you have here is obviously your joystick, but your, unlike a Fint Fairy or any of that, your joystick is permanently fixed. You do your movements on your accelerator. It's your travel pedal. It's not just an accelerator, it controls forward speed and revs. Um, it's a spool valve on that one. That's your cruise control speeds. You can up and down them or what I use the down button for sometimes is if you're going along the road and you're coming to a junction if you just give him a few tips it kind of brings a bit of resistance into the transmission and it's not as you're not relying on the brakes as much that's to set your cruise control that's your headland management button I don't use headland management button on this tractor because I'm rarely doing jobs that need headland management I think mainly like you would say just for instance if you had the butterflies on this one you can set her to lift the front one reverse if you had a reverse fan fitted reverse the fan lift your back ones and go into the stroke and then she'll drop them again I think that's how it works but I'm not too sure um, there's obviously your lift your preset and your lift and then you control it on your dial here if you have this on you forward and reverse there and you forward and reverse here there are your PTO switches there are various other switches there um, I suppose one of the big things with these tractors would be and if you google it error codes error codes error codes error codes that's what everyone says about CVX's is error codes a CVX will throw up an error code for anything if you keep your hand on the PTO switch for too long it'll throw up error codes the beauty about error codes is it will show you where the problem is exactly you're not guessing you're not trying to find faults I'll give you an example the other day the TVT was after being power washed it was gone doing a mowing job and she derated herself on the road. So we looked up the workshop manual and the workshop manual pointed us towards the flywheel sensor, which is 
in there. I know you can't see it there now, but that's what it was. Just got wet when it was being power washed. I mean, if you didn't have those error codes, where, where, how would you find that fault? So that's dim. With a bit more light and there's a bit less wet that I can pull it out into the yard. We'll go through the transmission and the spools and various other bits and pieces on them like that.